Is our church ready to meet the needs of our future? From our recent survey, there are more than 370,000 Catholics in Singapore, but only one third of us go to Mass every weekend. As parents, many of us are struggling to bring up our children in the faith, and as a young person, many of us find it difficult to see the relevance of the church. In 15 years, the number of priests in Singapore will drop significantly and we might not have enough priests to run the Archdiocese as we know it. But in the face of these challenges, our Archdiocese has a vision to be a more vibrant, missionary and evangelistic church. Like all great endeavours, building the Church of Tomorrow begins with a prayer. So as one, let us pray together for the future of our church. Thank you for letting me know you and to come to know of this faith. Lord, I thank you that you have a big dream for the Church of Singapore, that you are calling many people to the vineyard. Lord, I pray for more conversions, not just in number, but in quality. Conversions not just from outside the church, but within the church. Send more catechists to us, Lord. The harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. Give us a heart of generosity, a heart that will not be afraid to answer your call. I pray, Lord, that you will move our hearts for the work of the new evangelization, especially amongst our young people. Help us to be good stewards of the gift of these young men and women who want to rise up for your church. I pray for the youths. Many of them have left the church. And Lord, I pray that you send shepherds to find these lost sheep, to call them back to you as you have called me. I pray that you make me such a shepherd, Lord. Pray for a church who can embrace all people of all lives to be able to meet each and every person where they are. I pray for more priests in Singapore. I also pray for old priests and retiring priests. Lord, though limited as they are and so many challenges, Lord, I thank you for the steadfast spirit that they have, the love that they have for all of us. We ask you, dear God, to make yourself prevalent in the lives of those who are struggling today the sick, the elderly, the thousands of migrants who have come to our shores just to get a better living for their families back home. Make our families be real formation grounds and nurseries of faith. I pray for my family that my marriage will glorify you, that my marriage will emulate your holy family. And so I bring to you my own son and my own daughter I pray that as they grow up, they will be surrounded by godly friends to choose for themselves, not just on the faith of their parents, that you may reveal to them how real you are and that they may follow you with everything they've got. I pray, Lord, that we will no longer be a lukewarm church, a church that has settled for mediocrity. Father, I pray that every man and woman rise up to their vocation, beginning with my generation, that we may all serve wholeheartedly as one, that we would now devote our energy and our skills and our talents and our money and our time that you have given us, O Lord, to be stewards, that we may wisely use all this and turn them into precious gifts. I pray that the future of the church would be a thriving one, a place that would be a safe haven for my children, where they find love and acceptance and where they learn to love and serve. I pray for the future of our church. May you let us learn good values that we may grow attached to you, Lord, such that when we become adults to take over the church, we will be well prepared. Amen. Let us all unite in prayer and action to build the church of tomorrow by considering pledging a regular contribution to the Archdiocese of Singapore. Refer to the gift envelope to act in faithfulness. Find out more at gift.catholicfoundation.sg